No, because uh, I mean, I've never, you know, I don't tolerate that. Like, if a woman even raises her hand at me or even gets to that situation, I immediately disconnect. But that's an absolute red flag, like black flag, like she's done. Well, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean, I have to be 100% honest with you. I don't really accept it, even if a girl talks back to me. If she's like my chick, and she's like questioning me, I, I don't even want to deal with it. Well, I'm the man. I'm the leader. So you don't believe in partnership. Partnership in what sense do you mean? Like 50 50 partnership? 50 50. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Do you want a man that's taller than you? Do you want a man that's taller than you? Yeah. Stronger than you physically? Yeah. I want uh, somebody that can tell me. Makes more yeah. money than you, preferably? I uh, know, because I've typically made more but money. Ide idealistically. If you I could. was the sugar mama, but. Okay, idealistically. Would you prefer the man to make more money? Not necessarily. It depends on the situation. That doesn't make sense. How so? Because the whole concept of having a leader means there needs to be a follower. So if you are both leaders, then that means by definition there's no follower. So there needs However, to be a follower. I have three children. I have an eight-year-old, okay. a six-year-old, and a four-year-old. Okay. So for me, I think having two strong leaders. However, my marriage did not work right. It teaches them a greater sustainability for the culture that we live in nowadays. Well, I think that's the root cause of the problem right there, equality within relationships. It doesn't work. I mean, it sounds good on paper, but so does communism, and we know that doesn't work. Right. The only way things work is there needs to be a established leader in the relationship, and it's always got to be the man. Women are not good leaders in the dynamics of an intersexual relationship. Women want a guy who's going to be dominant, assertive, aggressive, stronger, taller. They look for survivability traits. Men look for replication traits. We want younger, hotter. You guys want younger, stronger, hotter. taller. That's what oh. men typically go for. Well, that's mm. typically because they don't challenge you. No, that's they don't not challenge you mentally. They have not grown to the fact where men are not interested in a woman's competence. It doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, another well, study that's showed this. Sad. That's sad as shit. I, I can make the argument that it's sad that women want a man that's taller than them. I mean, that's just biology. We look some for women, different things. We're talking no. a generality here. An overwhelming majority of women prefer a man that's significantly taller than themselves. That's just a biological. So, There's no such thing as 50-50 partnerships in a relationship. It doesn't work. No, I agree with that because you know what? There are times so where it's always a partnership. But I think that there has to be clear communication where sometimes it's like, hey, babe, I've got 20% to give you today. I need you to do the other 80. And then the man can come back and be like, babe, I got 10% to give you today. It was a horrible day. Can you give me that 90? Have you I ever think, been married? Uh, like, that's not really relevant. No, but it's a question I'm asking you. It's not really relevant to the conversation at hand. It's, it's a yes or no question. No, I have not. But that's, okay. you can identify a problem without necessarily being involved in said problem. I'm saying a big reason why we have the issues that we have when it comes to intersexual dynamics is because of this belief system that men and women are equal in the confinements of a relationship. They're not. And as I would argue, if you treat women as equal in the relationship, attraction gets lost, respect gets lost, and that's why we have sky-high divorce rates. Because women are simply not built to lead men in a relationship. They're just not. It doesn't work. It might sound good on paper, but it just doesn't work in practice. Excuse me. I think we have skyrocketing because of social media, desire, and men's ability to just want something different that doesn't challenge them. But women are the ones initiating 80% of the divorce. Yeah, because y'all are the ones that are out there on social media DMing people, doing the thing. Social media actually gives women way more Ashley Madison. Men. Example. W women get way more. Social media is more of a problem on the female side than on the male side. That's if the female is out there putting all of her shit. And a lot are. And a lot are. But there are a lot of us that do not. Well, I'm out here in Brickle right now walking my dog, in my yoga pants, but you know. The, the young, attractive women, all of them have some type of social media presence nowadays. Maybe in generations past they didn't, but that is a real obstacle that men have to deal with when dating in 2024. I agree, but... You know what, then that's the wrong woman to pick for a relationship, for a marriage. Well, that's why the vetting period is so important. But yes, it's to go very back to. Well, that's, Absolutely. But going back to what you were saying, yeah, I don't believe in equality within relationships at all. 
I think men are supposed to lead, women are supposed to follow, and that's just how it has to be for anything to work. Once you give a woman, you know, equal authority to yourself, that's when the problems arise in a relationship. Well, I wish you well. No I, I don't think that uh, you'll be married anytime. I don't think that's the goal for but, me as a man. It's your goal as a woman to get married, not my goal to get married. Oh, hell no. I'm never getting married again. It's, my best it's the no woman's fight. job to pursue marriage and find a man to take really? her seriously. It's not our job. No, it's not at all. There's a reason why the wedding is centered around the woman and not the man. There's a reason why. Not her Walking wedding. down the aisle, every girl dreams one day of walking down the aisle in a white dress. <laughs> There's Hell a reason the, the wedding, the, the entire now, institution of marriages. I got weddings. married in the Maldives. No, you guys even take the man's last name because you're literally I did inferior. Not, I, did, inferior. I did not take his last name. So oh my go. God, that's so masculine. That's masculine energy. You can't have masculine yeah. energy like that. What the fuck? Well, that is true. Women well, do pursue a man's last name. I never did. So, but hey. Well, that might. You were you, were you making more money than him? I did, yeah. yeah. That's the problem. Hell of a lot. That is the problem. So, that I, is right there the problem. That must be a huge problem then. That puts you in the leadership role and inevitably it never works. I, that, you, your relationship proves my point. All right. Well, this was a lovely discussion. Yes. I wish you well. Thank you very much. I appreciate and, you being this. You know, I try. I, I don't think big generalizations are ever good for anybody. I think that there's always two sides to the story. But there's always a majority. And that's the story that people care about. Well, that's the story that, you know, sells. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Someone else?